Just in time to watch me die. What did you get? Never mind. Let me just gaze at it for a moment. At some point, the emergency shelters downtown became too damaged to be habitable. I don't know what they expected. They were bursting at the seams. And the continued quakes just tore them apart. There were some smaller ones to the north that people said were in better shape. But I can't say for certain if anyone's still actually there. Just remember this. I've been here for more than a week. You, come on, you come closer. Uh, there's gotta be a way around. I think my leg is broken. Do you, uh, do you have something to patch me up? Hey, thank you, really. I know how precious these first aid kits are. I owe you one. During the early days of the dust cloud, people survived in those buildings that had been sealed up to keep out the dust. It was amazing, really. They wrapped up the whole city in a matter of days. Of course, a lot of good men died doing it, breathing in the dust and all. They saved a lot of other lives, though. If there was any good that came out of all of this, it came from them. Those guys are heroes.
Somebody forced me to do it. Please, you have to help me break these handcuffs. I thought you were gonna leave me trapped here. You know, a lady told me there were a couple of emergency centers set up for isolated women and children right after the event. One of them was in North Haventon, but that was in the early days. I don't know if it was wrapped up well enough to resist the dust. It might be worth taking a look there. to repay your kindness. Looks like the signal was coming from somewhere near that wrecked boat. There's enough rubble here. Probably can just climb up into the ship. <laughs> 